this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management, and we'd like to give you a quick summary of what happened in the first quarter of 2021. Certainly coming out of 2020, we had some market rallying going on. We had some interest rates going up. We had some general commodity prices going up, and a lot of that continued throughout the first quarter. A couple of bright spots that we saw. If you look at oil and gas as a group, they had a tremendous first quarter. Now keep in mind, last year was a little rough for that group, especially going into the COVID crisis. But in the first quarter, that index, tracking the uh, ETF, that is that index, it was up 39.04%. At the same time, gold for the first quarter was actually down 8%, a little over 8%. But commodities in general had a pretty good move. Commodities in general actually up a little over or just under 13%. A couple of other interesting things to note, the NASDAQ 100, which was the darling of last year and certainly over the last couple of years, which is tech heavy, tech laden, it was up actually less than 2% in the first quarter. While at the same time, the Russell 2000, which is the small cap index was up, let me double check the numbers, it was actually up 12.4% for the quarter. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, which if you remember is only 30 companies, it was up 7.7% and the S&P 500 was up a little over 5%. Now at the same time, we saw the 10-year Treasury yields were going up and that means that Treasury values were going down. In fact, the long-term Treasury index for 30-year plus Treasury bonds was actually down for the quarter 17.59%. So that's a pretty tough quarter, but remember, interest rates are more normalizing. The 10-year treasury yield has rallied. Certainly last year, it hit a low of less than a half a percent per year in dividend yield, and it's come all the way back up over one and a half percent per year in dividend yield. That's caused those bond values to be going down. So what does all this mean? It means that we've got more volatility that certainly happened this year. It was nice to see small caps having some leadership. We haven't seen leadership there in a while. Perhaps that's going to continue. But we, the, the only really sure thing, quite frankly, is we're going to see more and more volatility. Remember, market leadership does change. Momentum does change over time. If you're invested for the long term, this really is fluff. Doesn't make much difference. But keep in mind, these things do fluctuate on a regular basis. But we wanted to give you a quick summary of the first quarter 2021 numbers. Again, this is Brad Harvey. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you have a great day.